everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out, and today I've got another haul for you. But before I get into that, I wanted to make sure to share a new challenge that I'm doing. It's called the Thrifty Threads 365 Challenge, and I got the idea from Looking Fly on a Dime. I've been following that blog for quite some time now, and I love it. And if you guys haven't checked it out, you have to. It's amazing. She's got amazing tips for kind of how to live frugally, how to look amazing while you're shopping at thrift stores, um, and really good tips for how to kind of tackle uh, shopping at thrift stores. So I always get a kick out of seeing her post. I think she's awesome. So I'll make sure to leave a link below to Looking Fly on a Dime. But I happened to see that she was doing this Thrifty Threads 365 challenge. And what that entails is a whole year of only shopping at thrift stores. And I know, um, you know, for you guys who follow me here, that's probably not such a crazy idea. You probably shop at thrift stores a lot, if not all the time already. Um, but I know some people kind of um, go to thrift stores every once in a while, but still find themselves back at the mall or at the clearance racks at, you know, Target or Kohl's or wherever you might go. Um, so I think to say you're only going to be shopping at thrift stores for the entire year is a pretty cool challenge and something that I'm kind of willing to take. Because even sometimes I find myself going to H&M and checking out what they have or Target again, they do have cute stuff. Um, so I think I would like to take this challenge, which is really cool. I love a new challenge for the new year. Um, and another part of it is that you can only spend $50 a month on clothing. Gulp. <laughs> I, um, uh, I don't really keep track of how much I spend per month. I'm gonna guess it's probably over $50, so this will kind of keep me in check. <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward to see how well I do with that part of the challenge. Um, and then the last part is just to kind of keep everyone updated on your thrifty outfits that you put together, on things that you buy. Um, so if you guys want to share anything, if you want to join this challenge, please do. And you just hashtag thriftythreads365. So I'll make sure to leave all of that information below as well as a link to my blog post where I talk about it. So make sure to check back and I'll have more about that challenge as the year goes on. All right, and again, before we get started with the haul today, I um, don't know if you guys noticed my new little friend here. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, I'll make sure to leave that below. Um, I posted that I got this a few weeks ago at Goodwill for $16. And I kid you not, the guy put it out. <laughs> and I heard him say as I picked it up, he was like, that thing wasn't even out on the floor for five minutes. Uh, heck no, it's not. It's adorable. It has an Eiffel Tower, Paris, little quotes, a whole bunch of little writing on it, and um, I can put my clothes on it. Duh, it's so cute. <laughs> so all right, so on to the haul. So also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that last week I had a day off. I decided to go shopping. So I kind of uh, Instagrammed my day as I was shopping in the different stores that I went to and what I was finding. So make sure to check that out so you can kind of keep up with what I'm up to. But the first stop of that day was Salvation Army in Rancho Cordova. All right, so first up is this Croft & Borrow uh, lace t-shirt that I found. And I just thought that this was really cute. I love the texture of it. It's got the lace all the way on the front, on the back, on the sleeves, obviously. Um, but I just thought that this would be really cute paired with a mini skirt, kind of a more simple thing on bottom, and maybe just with a little blazer thrown over top or a cardigan or something. Um, but I just thought it was kind of a cool basic, but with a little more interest to it. Um, and this one was marked at $5.99, so then it was half off, so it was $3. All right, so next up is this really cute green and cream um, tank top that I found. It's by Eclair. And I really like the exposed zipper on the back. I thought that was pretty adorable. Um, and just kind of the print, I thought that was really fun. And I seriously live in these tank tops and leggings in the summertime for teaching. Um, they're just easy breezy, you know, aren't very heavy. So it's really good for those really, really hot days that we have. Um, so I just picked this up without even trying it on. I know it's going to be a, you know, really easy thing to throw on. Uh, and this one was $3.99 and then half off, so $2 for this tank top. Alright, so next up is another tank top that I found, and this is a Gap uh, blue with um, black little polka dots all over it. And I really love this little ruffle right down the center. 
but I just thought it was a really well-made tank top. You know, things from Gap are pretty, uh, pretty well-made pieces. Um, and this is one I can totally wear with a little pencil skirt for work or, you know, again, under a cardigan or a blazer, wear it by itself in the summertime. So I was just totally drawn to that print and I was so happy that it was only $2 on sale. I mean, you can't beat that. So the next piece is totally boring, not even gonna lie, um, but something that I was finding that I need because I run through them so quickly. Uh, so it is this black t-shirt, really nothing special, um, by Charter Club, super duper soft, which I love and it looks really like it's never even been worn, so double score. Um, the weird thing about this though was that it was marked at $7.99 and then of course I got it for half off so it's four bucks, but a the t-shirt for $7.99? I don't know. Very odd, but you know, I still got that sale and it's still something that I know I'm going to wear a ton. Alright, so the last item that I found at Salvation Army is this really cute navy with white polka dot uh, colored shirt. And I just, I love these kind of bigger uh, blouses over leggings with boots for the kind of fall winter time. Um, you can add a big necklace to kind of jazz it up a little bit. But I just found um, this is really good just for teaching, for those kind of casual days at work. Um, so I just, I kind of picked this up without even trying it on. I just think it's so cute. And the best part was that it was marked at $3.99, but then of course it was half off, so it's only $2. Alright, so my next stop for the day was the Goodwill in Rancho Cordova. It just happens to work out that um, I go to that Salvation Army uh, all the way down on Folsom and Coloma, and then on my way home I hit the Goodwill on Coloma, so it's always a good day to go shopping when I go to those two places. Um, and what I noticed about Goodwill, and I noticed that this at I think all the stores that I've been to recently, is that they're moving to these colored tags on everything. So I'm hoping that that means that they will start doing additional uh, discounts on different colors of the week. Because I've noticed that they do that in Santa Cruz, for example, but I've never seen that at any of the stores here in Sacramento. The only sales that I see are on kind of big holidays where they do 50% off the entire store. But other than that, it's whatever the um, item is marked. So kind of cool to see that. I'm excited for when that actually starts. Um, so anyway, for the first item that I found, I found this really cool Bar 3 um, striped shirt. So, so soft. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, but I just like the little detail on the sleeve here. It's got kind of the seam down the middle. Um, but I just thought this would be, you know, such an easy thing to wear. I can wear a little vest over it. I can throw a big, huge necklace with it and it'll be great. Um, and it was only $4.99, so not bad at all. Alright, so the last item that I found at that particular Goodwill, um, I happened to be scanning the purses that they have there and, you know, was kind of half-heartedly looking through them. Um, and then I came across this really cute um, Steve Madden backpack. Hi. Um, which looks like it has never been used. It even still had the little um, plastic covering across the Steve Madden um, nameplate on the back there. But I just thought this was super duper cute. The inside has this cute lining and it's got a little place for your cell phone and a pocket in there. Um, so I just thought that was adorable and it was only $6.99 so really not bad at all. So my last stop of the day on my day o shopping was the Goodwill on Watt um, in kind of the Arden area. My sister lives over there and I had some time to kill before I was going to meet her for dinner so I just decided to check it out and um, I'm so happy that I did because I found this one item and I could have been happy finding this one item all day because I'd heard rumors about people finding this brand at thrift stores and I'd never been so lucky to find it myself. So let me just show you guys. Oh my god. So yeah, Lily Pulitzer blouse, super cute zebra print, really cute little collared shirt here. And it's got little gold buttons there. Um, over the moon. Like, cannot believe it. And at first, I couldn't find the price tag on the shirt. And I was so worried that they were going to be like, oh, it doesn't have the price tag. You can't buy it. Because I seriously would have fought somebody for this. But luckily, the lady at the front found it. And it was only $4.99. What? Like, oh my god. So excited about this one. Alright you guys, so that was my haul and thanks for watching. Um, before I go, I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you to all of you guys for subscribing to my channel, for following my blog, for liking the Facebook page, for following me on Instagram. 
every single one of you means so much to me and you really put a smile on my face when you guys reach out to me and make comments on my pictures or like my pictures. Um, every single like that I get is just like amazing and it just makes me so so happy and I'm so lucky to have all of you guys and I just wanted to start out the new year by saying thank you. So as always thanks for watching and happy thrifting. Bye bye!